come up as a presenter is Robert Sedansky. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be back here. <laughs> really, I'm really excited to see all of you again. Some people ask me how retirement's going. And I say, well, it actually feels like I'm still working. There's no difference. <laughs> because I'm involved in different boards. I've got all different kinds of activities. So it's like I'm still working. The only difference between those two things is that um, the deadlines. Working here, I had deadlines. When I retire, the deadlines are just more flexible. That's the only difference between the two. <laughs> Herb Larson and the Herb Larson Award. Unfortunately, Herb Larson was not able to come today. He's fine. His wife is just fine, but you know the freeways in LA on a Friday afternoon, and he lives down in Orange County. So getting here would have been a very long day for him, especially since he's now an 85-year-old man. I talked with him on the video phone this morning, and he said, I'm fine, I'm great, everything's wonderful, I'm still alive. <laughs> Every year, he comes here to the award ceremony. And he said, it's nice to be alive in order to give out his scholarship award every year. So he's still alive. He's just not able to be here this year. So I'm going to try and present this as good as Herb does. I'm going to try. I'd like to first start with talking about who Herb is as a person and his wife. I've known them since 1978. I met them when I was a graduate student a long time ago. I've got many, many different stories of what happened between the three of us, between them and myself. Now, if you remember, there's a, a young lady by the name of Denise, who happened to be my future wife. We were, we've been dating for some time. Herb came up to me and said, when is the date? And he'd say that from time to time. And I said, what do you mean? We're engaged, or excuse me, when are you going to get engaged? And I said, I don't know yet. <laughs> he kept asking me that over and over and over again. And it became routine. Sometimes, he'd ask his wife. Really, it, he and his wife are soulmates. I mean, they just know each other so well. So then sometimes his wife would come up and say, when's the date? <laughs> so obviously, they have been talking and talking about me. Herb is nice and approachable. However, his wife's a little bit different. She's a little bit more aggressive. She ever asked me, when's the date? When's the date? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. And she kept saying, you can't wait a long time. You just simply can't wait. Hurry up. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I was thinking, I didn't want to tell them exactly when. I prefer for Denise to know first. And then <laughs> Denise can make that announcement, right? Doesn't that make sense? Does it make sense to all of you? <laughs> They're very, very human. They're very warm. Very, very warm people. So that's what I wanted to tell, tell you a little bit about them. And I've got more stories I could tell you about them, but I'll just tell you that one story for today. Okay? This scholarship goes to Tyler Kugale. Where is he? Tyler! Do you know what Herb's um, major was when he was at Gallaudet University? Does anybody know what his major was? Philosophy, right? Which is exactly what Tyler's major is. 
So it's, I wish Herb could be here, but unfortunately he cannot be here today. Herb is an educator for 42 years. He was a teacher, a drama teacher, a principal of a school, and the administrative support services, and the director of NCOD. He finally retired in January of 1999, quite a while ago. The criteria of this scholarship is to demonstrate leadership qualities, high moral character, and the third, good citizenship. Tyler is the perfect fit for all three criteria. He grew up in Orange County, went to University High School, came here to CSUN. He learned um, high school, he learned um, to sign language at age 12. <coughs> he struggled um, with his reading and writing skills. He taught himself to develop his literacy skills. He's very, very motivated. He pursues research in theory for uh, deaf students to prevent uh, language deprivation. I believe the importance of study. And he knows in the deaf community, there's always what, what's better. Is it ASL, oralism? There's always that, uh, that controversy. So hopefully, his studies maybe resolve that and actually prove that whether ASL and English are actually the best approach for deaf children. As a young man, Tyler has not yet received his degree. He will soon, but still he's been involved in giving four different presentations at four different conferences specific to philosophy. And that's pretty impressive for a young man. The first one is at Princeton Rutgers Undergraduate Philosophy Conference, a prestigious conference with a top PhD philosophy programs in the world. Also at New York University, Princeton, and Rutgers. He presented this paper on the ontology of American Sign Language poems. Very interesting. I wish I would have got, I, I would love to go to that conference one day. His goal and dream is to go into a PhD program to show that deaf people can do anything. While he was a student here, he kept himself busy. He was the president of Deaf Seasonians. He was the president of the Student Philosophical Society. And he was the journal organizer for the first journal to promote philosophical thought for undergraduate students and CSUN Undergraduate Philosophy Journal. He dreams big. He's going to apply to two prestigious universities, Princeton University and Harvard. Wow. He would like to make philosophy more accessible for the deaf community. And 
But I have a question for you, Tyler. This is from her, not from me. Who wrote... The man ever stepped into the river twice. <laughs> what man stepped into the same river twice? Excuse me. Heraclean. He says it's an awkward finger spelling, I know. It's H-E-R-A-C-L-I-U-S. That's, yeah, it's a philosopher. <laughs> a Greek philosopher, right? Long, 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 long time ago. You passed her test. <laughs> also, he would like to form a summer institute for the deaf in philosophy. So I actually look forward to that happening in about 10 years from now. Therefore, I am happy to present the NCOD Herb Larson Scholarship for 2017 to Tyler Dugay. Thank you, thank you. That was a wonderful presentation. I mean, even though Herb couldn't be here, but thank you. Okay. Tyler? Herb asked me to give you his email address so that you can actually talk with him directly. Oh, got okay? it. Fine. Yes. <laughs> scholarship monies and for this money it will really benefit my future so I'm excited to share my future plans with you and I hope we keep in touch for later okay so that was a message for Herb, Herb and I just want to say to thank you to everybody here for recognizing my journey and my growth to my friends and to the interpreters to the staff really everyone who has been a part of my life here and thank you so much. I'm so excited for the future, and I don't have that much to say. <laughs>